Hey guys, we are going to give our overview of the Animal Kingdom Lodge Ooh. at Walt Disney World. Fun. Well, that's probably our favorite resort, wouldn't you say? Yeah. We don't stay there often because of the location, which we'll talk about, but as far as just the resort, not talking about location, it's probably our favorite at Walt Disney World, so we're excited to talk about it. Yes. So let's dive into the overview. First, I want to state that we are going to be talking about Animal Kingdom Lodge Jumbo House. They also added on Kidani Village, which is a DVC-only resort, mm -hmm. but it's part of Animal Kingdom Lodge. But we have never stayed there, so we're going to be focusing on Jumbo House. There are DVC units in Jumbo House also, and we will put a room tour of one of the studios of DVC Studios for that resort at the end of this video, so definitely stay tuned for that. So we stay in both, right? DVC and we stay both okay. DVC yeah. and regular yeah. standard room at um, Jumbo Animal House. Jumbo House yeah. at Animal Kingdom Lodge, um, and we are not DVC owners, but we rent DVC occasionally. So, first of all, Animal Kingdom Lodge is a deluxe resort. Um, Disney tiers their resorts deluxe, moderate, or value. Um, so this is going to be one of the more expensive resorts from a Disney perspective. However, within the deluxe category, it's one of the less expensive resorts. Because um, of location? Probably, <laughs> probably. Um, however, if you opt for a Savannah View room, which we highly recommend. Yep. If, if you're going to stay there, you should get a Savannah yeah, View room. Yeah, definitely do that. Um, yeah. and if you do that, then it's no longer as affordable um, that drastically increases the price to get a Savannah view. So when I say it's one of the lower ends of the deluxe, I'm speaking of a standard non Savannah view room. The Savannah view room. But you are, could still make the non was the non Savannah view rooms work though. Because oh, definitely. We're of, definitely going to talk about yeah. the, all the options to see the animals, but nothing beats sitting on your balcony and watching the animals walk true. by. Yes. I mean, where else in the world other than going to Africa and on an actual safari, can you sit on your balcony of your hotel room and watch giraffes and zebras and all kinds of animals walk by right outside. Um, but what Brian was talking about is there are several areas that you can view animals for free. And you don't even have to be staying at Animal Kingdom right. Lodge to do this. And we highly recommend, if you're going to Animal Kingdom, the park, take a quick five-minute bus ride from there. Literally five minutes. <laughs> over to Animal Kingdom Lodge, and you can go out and look at the animals for free out yep. on the savanna. Now, there's no guarantee you'll get a great view. It depends on where the animals are. They're, they're allowed to roam where they want to roam, so you may or may not see mm -hmm. that many animals. And then also around the pool, you can also see some animals, and also they mm -hmm. have some flamingos near the pool. Yeah, they're cool. So there's a lot of options to see animals. And then also at night, they have free night vision goggles. Again, you don't have to be staying at the resort, and so you can go out on the savanna and use the night vision goggles for free as well, whether you're staying there or not, which is a nice perk. So that's a good overview of the uh, resort, right? Want to jump into theming? Yes, let's talk about the theme. So... The theme is amazing. First of all, the lobby is spectacular. Um, I think it's one of the, if not the best lobbies on property. It's very similar to Wilderness, Wilderness Lodge. Lodge. It's right, the yeah. same architect, and you can tell it, they both have those really grand, beautiful lobbies. The coolest thing about the lobby is the, it's, it's in the lobby, it's not really the lobby, is the, the bridge. Yeah, catwalk. Yeah. <laughs> There's a like catwalk really cool. across. and. If you're not afraid of heights, I highly recommend going up there. It gives you a whole different I can't perspective. I remember what floor that was, but yeah, it's four or five, man, somewhere up there. Yeah, it's it's amazing. It gives you amazing views of the lobby, and also at Christmas, this is a great resort to visit. Yes, they have is. an amazing, huge tree in the lobby that's just gorgeous. Yep. So uh, the overall theming is obviously African themed. It has yep. sort of a safari and African theme. And all the cast members have, play into that. Yeah, know? and they have cast members from Africa. Yep. At night, they have a campfire storyteller right outside the lobby near the Savannah area. Again, that's another free thing. doesn't cost anything, and they, they do a great job entertaining. They have various art displays, and during the day, they'll have cast members out explaining art. They mm -hmm. also have kids' crafts during the day. Of course, the animals. That plays into the theming. That is yeah, the theming. It's definitely the a big, that's They're a huge everywhere. part of the theming. <laughs> huge part, but... The whole decor is just gorgeous to me. I love it. I yep. remember the first time we stayed there, I was just absolutely blown away. How many times have we stayed there? 
quite a few. Yeah, it's I'd say a at lot. least five now. <laughs> yeah. Would you say over the years? And we would stay there more. more if if it wasn't for the location. So let's talk about the location since we keep bringing that up. So as we mentioned, it's about five minute. Now, I'm not talking about waiting for the bus, but once you're on the bus, it's about a five-minute ride from Animal Kingdom, the park. However, it can take a good 20 minutes, give or take, depending on traffic. Traffic's a big factor to get to most of the other parks. Wouldn't you agree? Maybe a little longer, it seems like. It depends. It's really variable. I think 20 minutes is is if there's no traffic, because remember at Christmas, it took a really long time. Well, just picture how long it takes to get to Animal Kingdom Park, right? Right, and so it's about the same, yeah. Yeah. And so if you love Animal Kingdom, you'll be very happy here because it's so easy and quick to get to Animal Kingdom, but for all the other parks, you're going to have a longer ride, and it's just something to keep in mind. If they could scoop up this resort and stick it right next to Epcot, we'd be there all the time. Within walking distance? (laughs) We'd be there all the time. No, I would go as far as say we might be DVC owners. What? <laughs> <laughs> it is that much. It's it's so cool. You it know? really is. It's yeah. really amazing. It truly is. So that's something to keep in mind. We're not saying don't stay there because of that. We're just saying keep that in mind. And there's a reason for that. They put both Animal Kingdom the park and Animal Kingdom mm-hmm. Lodge the hotel sort of sequestered from everything else so that the animals have some peace. Yeah. And that makes perfect sense. So it's not a bad thing. It's just something to factor and in. And it is so peaceful at night. If you do get it some really random view room, you sit there on your balcony, it's just so quiet. You hear the little animals. And it also feels like when you come back from the parks, it feels like you escaped yeah. to somewhere wonderful. Like, it's peaceful, it's quiet, it's serene, and so it is a really nice place to stay. Um, So, on to the food. Mmm, good food. Great food. Boma! This this is definitely my favorite resort for food. There's just no doubt about it. So, let's start with Jico. Let's let's start with the... This is their signature restaurant, and if you're not familiar with Disney's classifications, they have signature, then regular, and then... Quick service or counter service, it gets called both things, which is sort of like fast food. Expensive, not so expensive and cheap. (laughs) Exactly, he's right. (laughs) And so Jico is signature, which is the most expensive, but also it's the best food and the best service. And that's pretty much true of all the Disney signatures we've been to. It really is a step above. And when we ate at Jico, we really enjoyed it. We mm-hmm. liked everything that we had. They do the lighting effect thing, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and it's it's really elegant, but not stuffy. That's what I liked about it. It felt still relaxed, yeah. but it does feel elegant. And we had some amazing service there. So I think the lighting thing was they gradually changed the lighting to make it like sunset to dusk or something like that, right? I can't remember because it's been a while since yeah, we've been there, been but. It because is, we keep going to Boma. We do keep going to Boma. We'll talk about that next. And it does, Jico does overlook the pool area, which is landscaped yes. beautifully. So it's a nice view if you're by a window as well. So on to Boma because that's our favorite. Boma. And that's why we don't go to Jico as much because Boma is the mid, mid-range. It's still considered table service. But it's a buffet, and what's funny is I'm not a huge fan of buffets. He he likes them, but I'm not as big of a fan of buffets. I love Boma, um, so it's is it the best value on the on the property? I would. It, it's got to be close for yeah, a buffet. It's got to be. Um, it's definitely nowhere near as expensive as the character buffets no. because there's no characters. And the food, if you've ever been to Tusker House, it's very similar mm-hmm. to Tusker House. I wouldn't say it's identical, but it's similar. So you get. A lot of traditional food that would appeal to mass, you know, amounts of people, but you also get some really cool African themed yeah. or, you know, Mideastern, Asian, you know, just different areas. And we have loved some of the dishes so much so that one of them we make all the time at home, the (laughs) um, Birdie's pasta salad, which is basically a curry pasta salad that we had there. So good. You can look that up on the web. It's really tasty. But Oddly enough, they're not open for lunch. No. They're only breakfast, but the breakfast runs till 11. Yes. And we... So we call that a brunch. Yeah, we generally hit that. But they call it a breakfast. Disney calls it breakfast. Yes. And then dinner... So we've been to both times, mm-hmm. several times, many times. So I good. think my favorite is the breakfast. And yours Mine's is... the breakfast. No, oh, it's it? the breakfast. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to be dinner. Absolutely. No, it's All the right. breakfast. I love the breakfast. Um, I think it's the best breakfast on property. That's my personal opinion. Um, the breakfast is amazing because you have traditional breakfast fare. 
made to order omelets. And then you also have some unique items like roasted asparagus, roasted tomatoes, babodi. Yeah, it's not your typical. Pat, which is sort of like an African grits. Yeah. They, they just have a lot of unique um, items. And then the evening's the same thing. They have a lot of traditional dinner items, but then they have things like fried plantains and uh, just a variety. Tons of seafood. In, yeah, lots yeah. of seafood. Oh, seafood stew sometimes. Mm-hmm. I think they rotate the soups, but they have a lot of great offerings. So anyway, we're, yeah, we're probably going restaurant. on way too yeah. much about Burma, but also when it's full there, it's noisy. It just is. The floors are wooden. Everything's wooden. Well, that goes for any Disney... Buffet. Yeah. It, it's true. <laughs> But the tip I was going to give is, especially for breakfast, if you oh, yeah. go early, like really early when they first open, or if you go really late, like right before 11, treat it like a brunch. because yep. they'll seat you at 1055. Yep. So you, you can go like, right, they don't, they're not going to shut down the buffet at 11. They just stop seating at 11. It's pretty wide open. And they keep the food fresh. Fresh, kind of yes. It's, it's not like, you know, they just it's stop, not like eh. they stop serving <laughs> or anything. And Oh, made to order omelets. I mentioned right. that, yeah, oh, I mentioned that, yeah, it's so good. And so that would be my tip: is either go first thing in the morning when they open, mm-hmm. if you want to do true breakfast, or if you want to treat it like a lunch almost or brunch, I would say book the ten fifty five, ten fifty, and that way you still get fresh hot food, but you have the place almost to yourself. Yeah, You're not you waiting it. in line, and it's not as noisy. And all the employees are super friendly. And they have something called jungle juice, which is really popular. And it's really, it is really tasty. It's a lot of tropical fruit juices, and that's included in the buffet. Um, it's not alcoholic, of course. And you can also have you know, your tea, coffee, whatever else you'd like with the buffet. So, so quick service. Yeah, quick service. There's only the one Mara. Mara for the Jumbo House. Right. And it it's, is... It's, not, it's small. It's small, but it's good. Yeah. Everything we have gotten yeah. there has been good. Great service. Really good service. Um, I will say, again, if you can try to avoid peak times, it's a good idea yeah. there because, like he mentioned, it's small. small, so it can have some long lines. And they have zebra domes there. They do have <laughs> zebra domes. So we didn't mention that. Boma has zebra domes on the buffet at dinner, not at breakfast, but at dinner. And they're a, sort of a famous dessert. I yeah. mean... Everyone loves them. I don't know why, but I do too. And well, I'm not even a big tasty. sweet person. They're really good. And they do have gluten-free ones. I, I happen to be gluten-free if you're not familiar with our channel. They do have gluten-free ones upon request. They're not gluten-free by default. They are amazing. And the Mara has them in the grab-and-go. Yep. So they have a wall of sort of refrigerators with pre-made items. So it's like a pack of four maybe? Something yeah, like that. and that, again, that's the traditional, not the gluten-free. Yeah. You have to ask for the gluten-free. But they have tons of options there, both mm-hmm. grab-and-go and also fresh-made food. And they have a small dining area, but... Mm-hmm. I actually recommend getting your food to go and go eat it out by the pool where you, or go eat it where you can watch some animals. I'm not saying out on the savannah, but I'm talking about in the pool area. Yeah. And every floor of the hotel has a little um, alcove uh, with rocking, rocking chairs, chairs where you can see the animals and stuff. It's awesome. So yeah. I recommend taking your food to go. And if you don't have a savannah view room, go somewhere like that. Or if you do yeah. have a savannah view room, go eat on your balcony. Yeah. I think that's a better atmosphere. Just me, my personal opinion. Also, even though we're not talking about Kadani Village in this video, I do want to do an honorable mention for restaurants. <laughs> Kadani Village has a restaurant called Sanaa, and you can walk from Jombo House to Kadani Village, or you can yeah. take a bus from Jombo House to it's Kadani bus, Village. Right? Where is it? No, I, I don't think remember. it's a no. I don't think it's internal. Oh, okay, but don't quote us. We we it's don't. It's not that far. We've we've no, walked. No, we walked. Before, so yeah. yeah, don't quote us on the bus. But we have taken a bus one time, have we one been way into the lobby of the. No, we haven't. <laughs> we have. Um, so all right, even, next, we're gonna make a point to do that next time. Go over there. Well, we need to eat at Sanaa because everybody I know who's yeah. eaten there raves about it, and you can see animals while you're eating outside uh, the windows, and you can't say that for any of these other places we've mentioned. So I give that an honorable mention, even though we haven't been there because it gets such high marks. So onto the pool at we're back to Jumbo House now. Pool, amazing. That is one of my favorite pools on property. Now, I know people carry on over Storm Along Bay at Beach Club, and that is an awesome pool, but there was something so peaceful and so serene about the pool at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. I think it's Lodge. all the foliage, you know, all the, like, you know, plants. And... It's beautiful. Beautifully landscaped. Um, the spas or hot tubs, whichever you mm-hmm. want to call it, are in, there's two there by the main pool, and they're in secluded areas that are totally 
surrounded by trees and also the way the resort looks like on the outside from the pool kind of blends in because it's all mm -hmm. like wood and green i think yeah. It is, yeah, yeah yeah it blends in and it has a zero entry area mm -hmm. they have a pool bar they have some recreational type games out there and as always at the main pool this is true of all disney pools from value all the way to deluxe they have lifeguards and cast members out there doing games with yeah. kids during the day trivia all kinds of fun stuff um, I just can't say enough good stuff about their pool. That's actually one of my favorite pools. Yeah, it is. They do have a small arcade there as well, which is near mm -hmm. the pool area. And any it's other... right next to the Mara, right? It is. Yeah. It's right next to the Mara. And the Mara, that, that's why I mentioned bringing your food out from the Mara and eating it while you're near the pool. Yeah, it's so close. It's so Steps close. It's away. like literally right outside the door yeah. and much better view. Um, so anything else as far as amenities at the resort that you can think of? I'm not talking about transportation separately, but anything else? I don't think so. I think that's about it. It's, it's just amazing. So let's talk about tr the only transportation unless you bring your own car is the bus service. Yep. So this is one of the few deluxe resorts, and I think that's why it may be at the lower end of the deluxe pricing um, that doesn't have an alternate way of getting to a park so for example contemporary you can walk to magic kingdom boardwalk you can walk to epcot yeah, never thought about that. most of the other deluxe resorts you can take boats to at least one park yeah, you're right um most of the other resorts you can take a monorail or some 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 other alternate transportation yeah. um this is one of the only resorts where you have to take the bus system unless you have your own car to every single and we're still shocked why they don't have a walkway to animal, animal kingdom, kingdom park we are very surprised. It's so close. <laughs> or a train or a Jeep Something. tram or just some, some kind of direct transportation to your Animal Kingdom, the park. Um, but they don't. So you're going to be taking the bus everywhere. And so that's something to keep in mind. But the times we've stayed there, we've had pretty good bus service. Yeah, it's all covered. We really have. It's covered. Um, but we haven't waited horribly long mm -hmm. either. Like when we stay at Boardwalk, we always seem to wait yeah. a really long time for the bus. Whereas at Animal Kingdom Lodge, I think maybe because it's so far, they just keep the buses coming. Yeah. Oh, something to mention about the buses, though. There, it's nice. It's um, separate stops or separate areas whereas like boardwalk and beach is all like one you know just one that's spot true. for all buses that's true so animal kingdom lodge will have a spot for magic kingdom have a that's true. further down spot for epcot so it's, it's spread out it's that much, is nicer. It's much nicer yeah and like he said it's covered it's very close to the resort yep. the bus stop yeah um all that so and it does share a bus with kadani but that's it and kadani's right practically in the yeah, same parking no lot so it's not a big deal um, so that's another plus you're not sharing with other resorts so is that pretty good for and then also let's mention if you have your own car that's a huge plus at this resort i think that's a this is one of the resorts i would say it's really nice if you have a car because yes. you can park pretty close to the resort mm -hmm. like every time that we've parked because we have brought our car sometimes or rented a car We've been able to park where you don't have to walk far at all. Whereas some of the deluxe resorts, you're walking a long well, like way. Boardwalk Beach Club are the worst, in my opinion. You're walking a long way from where you park okay. your car. It's not too bad. No, it's not bad. So it depends, but this one to me has one of the better parking situations. And again, I'm talking about Jumbo House. I know Kanani, they have their own spaces, and that's different. But I'm speaking yep. for for this. I think it's a, yeah, a it's good pleasant. one to have your car. And uh, then let's talk about the room itself. So we mentioned we've stayed at both a standard room and a DVC studio mm -hmm. room. Um, I'm not going to go into detail about each room type, but what I will say is the rooms are amazing. Yeah. I think these are the best sort of decor as far as the detail rooms and theming, theming right? yeah. on property. I love them. They're beautiful. I, I don't know if this is true, but I have heard that the furniture, if you look at the headboards on the bed and some of the nightstands, they have all this carving. I heard they were actually imported from africa or the african artisans uh -huh. did the carving i don't know if that's true so please don't quote me but i wouldn't be surprised they're beautiful and they look authentic and they have sort of like these mosquito nets draped near the bed unless they've taken those out but last time we were there they were there um it's just it really does feel like you've transported to africa and you're on safari a, a tiny bit of disney theming in there there's hidden mickeys yeah tiny yeah. bit there's hidden Mickey's, but it's definitely not hit you over the head with no, Disney. Exactly. You see, like, goofy. <laughs> no, exactly. No, you won't see that. No, definitely not. But there's definitely hidden Mickey's and stuff. But I love it. It feels like you're in a different world for yeah. sure. Also, one last item I do want to mention about the rooms is for the health of the animals, they keep the lighting in the rooms really low. 
And so what that means is, especially for a woman, you're not going to be able to see very well to put your makeup on. I'm not joking. It's that dark. I mean, doesn't it feel dark? Too? Those rooms are pretty dark. I always thought it was just because of the dark woods. They, they put in you know, the dark materials. They stick in the rooms. Yeah, I had read that it was for the animals. So that, cause mm. you know, they're right outside your room. So that, but maybe it's what Brian said. Maybe it has nothing to do with that. But I think of all the Disney rooms we stayed in, those are the darkest as far as lighting on property. Yeah. And so, um, you, if you're a woman and you like to put makeup on, you might want to think about bringing a lighted makeup mirror with you. It's just, just a little tip there, you know, it might help you. But, um, I love the rooms. I love them. Even with yeah. the dark lighting, they're just gorgeous. Like I said, if they could just boop, put this right next, next to Epcot. To Epcot. <laughs> and if you're wondering, if you're new to our channel, Epcot's our favorite part. Yeah. So that's why we stay at Boardwalk and Beach Club a lot. But we do love Animal Kingdom, as you can tell. So I think that's going to wrap this up. Yeah. Anything else? I think that's it. Okay. Well, we hope this has been helpful. If you have any other tips about Animal Kingdom Lodge, please leave those in our comments. And if you have any other questions about Animal Kingdom Lodge Jumbo House, because we haven't stayed at Kadani, <laughs> please leave them in the comments and we will do our very best to answer them for you. So here we are heading on in. I love the door. So this is a tour of a deluxe studio DVC villa, which we are running points for. So here is a mirror in the front. Then you have a really nice size closet. And this is a really good size closet. Some of the DVC rooms have really tiny closets, but that one's nice. Then you have the kitchenette area. Usually comes with minimal sort of paper plates and bowls, some glasses, some silverware. Very minimal though, because there's no stove. You've got a microwave, coffee pot, toaster, the refrigerator and sink. So it's it's like a mini kitchen, not a full size. Those are so cute, the tiles, I love it. Right thing here, trash can. Trash can. Trash can. Exciting. And then over here though, you've got the, um, oh that's interesting because they just announced right before this trip that in the value in moderate, they're switching to pumps for this stuff. But obviously in the deluxe, they still, at least at this point, have the actual items which is funny neither of us use any of it but there it is dual sink which is great because some of these dvc units don't have two sinks they only have one like the contemporary only had one and for the dvc studio and then here is the tub and shower it's a good size tub and standard toilet Then there's ample seating. It's got this small bench over here, which is good for a suitcase. Looks like storage underneath. They've got what I assume, oh, it's another closet and a safe. So there's the safe and here's the size if you're curious. It's a pretty good size. You could fit a really giant laptop in that. Yeah, it's really big. Yep. And it looks like additional bedding. Sorry for the noise. A really large TV, that's big. Um, and then a dresser with a lot of drawers table and two chairs two ottomans i guess coffee tables that's a pull-out couch and then over here is the bed and then brian's standing in front of the one and only nightstand but boardwalk and obviously here they only have one nightstand which is a real bummer we both like to have a nightstand and another table in table and then this is the reason you stay here a balcony with a view of animals. So over there I see a zebra. And I see some type of antelope, I guess. Hey. Cool looking birds. Oh wow. He's got a fancy head. How neat. That's exciting. So you can see how far back we are from the lobby. That's the lobby way over there. So this comes with a couple of small chairs and a sort of end table. As always, we appreciate subscribes, likes, shares, and comments. Until our next adventure.